Hello mga kaganay! So in this video, I will show you how to um, do your demo lesson here in Native Cam. And by the way, here is my daughter, Mav! Come on! <laughs> Ayaw po Mag na hindi siya kasama. Okay, say hi! Say hi to them! Hello! <laughs> Okay, so let's pretend that I am in my demo lesson. So, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano ako nag-demo that time. Um, if you will notice, uh, syempre, ganito na yung makikita nyo sa, during the demo. So, dito sa part na to, on your right side would be your camera and of course the admin. Pag pinit nyo yung click, uh, start demo ba yun? Basta yung, pag pinit nyo yung uh, uh, button for demo lesson, don't expect na tada, nadyan na kagad si admin. So, hindi po. Um, just like the system check, you will wait for your turn kasi naka-on queue din yan. So, kapag nadyan na yung admin, edi mag appear na siya. And then, ang una niya sasabihin sa iyo is, good evening, um, I am, uh, I am, for example, I am Jane, and today is your demo lesson. Are you ready for that? So, you'll just say, yes, I am. And then, the admin will say, okay, let's start. So, um, pag sinabi yung let's start na, kung hindi mo pa alam kung ano yung textbook na gagamitin mo, you can say that, or you can, you can ask the admin. Kasi ganun yung ginawa ko. I'm not sure about the demo, the, the lesson material. So, tinanong ko sa kanya, um, what, what lesson material would we use? So, she said, oh, let's use grammar beginner ko. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, so, of course, you will start with um, the routine. Napaka-importante ng routine sa native camp. So, you will say, um, do you hear me clearly? Do you see me clearly? Okay, that's great. So, by the way, my name is Jane. What about you? What is your name? Okay, hello, Taka. Okay. Uh, and then after that, you will say, um, before we begin with our lesson, may I just ask you, do I speak uh, too fast or too slow or just right? Okay, and, okay, just right. So, thank you. Okay, Taka, today's lesson is Lesson Grammar Beginner 4. Is that correct? Okay, so of course, you have to confirm. Nakita niyo naman yun sa video. You have to confirm first. Lahat ng lesson na gagawin niyo dito sa Native Camp, ganun yung routine. So, you start ninyo, and then you ask if the if the textbook is correct. Tapos, dito sa part na to would be the chat box. Please use it as often as you can. Umpisa pa lang. Uh, by the time that you said your name, i-type nyo na agad dyan. Diba? I said, oh, by the way, my name is Jane. So, i-type mo, Jane. Okay? And what about you? And then, uh, even also the lesson. So, you can say, grammar beginner 4, is that correct? So, pwede mo rin i-type yun. As, as I said, use the chat box as often as you can. Okay. So, again, today's lesson is lesson is grammar beginner 4. Is that correct? Okay, that's right. So, the title is, Why do you need not to? Please repeat after me. Why do you need not to? Okay. Please check today's goal. Oh, sa pag sinabing, please check today's goal, minsan, Babasahin ng student silently or babasahin ng admin aloud. So, nung nag-demo ako, binasa naman niya to be able to talk about the reasons behind the actions. Okay, now, Taka, let's move on to today's phrase. Please repeat after me twice. Why do you need nato for the barbecue? Why do you need nato for the barbecue? Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. So, ganun lang. Papainitin niyo lang siya. And then, after noon, um, let's move on to new words or expressions. Okay, please check the directions. Okay, please repeat after me twice. Okay. Because. Because. Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. So, ganun lang. Uh, same procedure with all the other words. And as you go over this, kapag may narinig kayo na mispronunciation ni admin, itama nyo kasi hindi siya nagkamali dyan. Sinadya nyo yun. 
itatama nyo kaagad halimbawa ang sabi nyo ay because and then she said because so itatama mo siya and use the chat box again so for example um uh, yes very good taka okay let's just practice saying this word so then you type your because okay can you repeat after me because okay very good now let's continue so ganun lang yung gagawin nyo every time na may maka makarinig kayo ng mispronunciation from the admin again considered siya na student tinetest niya kayo kung paano siya i-correct so hindi siya nagkamali lang sa kung ano mang sasabihin niya sinadya niya yun so it's an opportunity for you uh, to correct the mistake of your student slash admin okay so even your expressions like this okay can you say no way so dapat may expressions din siya kasi titingnan din yun ni admin okay so after that let's move on to short conversation okay please check the directions okay so first let's read the conversation together please repeat after me Charlotte and James are shopping for the barbecue party tonight. O, si student naman, or si admin. So, ganun. Repeat after me. Itong flow na to, o, after, after the first part, and then, natapos nyo na yung, yung dialogue. Proceed, okay? This time, let's read the conversation together again. Please repeat after me. So, uulitin nyo na naman yung ginawa nyo sa first part. And then, when you're done with all the, with everything in the dialogue, you say again, Okay, great job. This time, let's do a role play. I'll be Charlotte and you'll be James. Okay, let's begin. O, pag natapos yun na ulit, balik na naman kayo dito. This time, let's switch the roles. You'll be Charlotte and I'll be James. Okay, so ganun na ulit. Okay, as you read again, you should read with emotions. Okay, let's move on to question. Yan. So, minsan, dito, hindi naman niya pinapatapos ng admin, like dito sa dialogue. Kapag nakita naman niya siguro na alam mo naman yung ginagawa mo, pinapaskip ka na niya. Kasi niya, um, the demo lesson will just last, I guess, 15 minutes lang. So, hindi niya tatapusin lahat yan. Okay, so let's move on to question. Please check the directions. Yan. Dito po kayo uh, mag-iingat. Kasi ito talaga yung tinatarget ni admin. Kasi dito sila sasagot ng mali. And they are uh, testing you kung kaya nyo siyang itama. Okay, for example, okay. Taka, please answer my questions. Does Charlotte like nato? Okay, so nakita nyo naman ang possible answer is no. She doesn't like nato. So possi possible na ang isagot ni admin is no. She don't like nato. Yan. So, from there, oops, may mali kay admin. Tinetest niya ako kung paano ko siya i-correct. Okay, pag, ginun, pag sunod ganun ang sinabi ni admin, oh, okay, very good, Taka. But, let us just have this um, sentence one more time. You said, no, she doesn't like nato. Be careful, okay? You have to type that inside the chat box. Okay, please take note of this and please remember, Taka, that when we talk about one person or one subject in a sentence, we use the verb doesn't. Okay? So, it must be, no, she doesn't like nato. Okay? Tapos, sasabihin pa sa ni admin, ah, teacher, when should I use don't? Okay? So, ituturo mo din ulit sa kanya. Okay? Very good question. We use don't. If the subject is plural or more than two, or two or more. For example, no, they don't like nato. There. So, from there, magkakaroon tayo bigla ng um, grammar lesson. Kasi nga, grammar siya. Okay. So, next. Why does James need nato for the barbecue? Because he cooked it with meat and vegetables. Oh, may mali na naman kay admin kasi dapat he cooks. Oh, babalikan niyo ulit. Okay, great job, Taka. But, let me remind you again that when we use the, the singular subject in a sentence, the verb must have an S. For example, oh, so itatap niyo yan. He cooks it with meat and vegetables. As you can see, the verb has S because we use the subject he, which is only one or singular. 
So, lahat yan, itatype nyo. Lahat ng words na sinasabi nyo or main words na sinasabi nyo ay itatype nyo. Okay? So, dun. Dito kayo itetest talaga sa question part. Okay. So, kapag tapos na kayo dyan, oh, let's move on to exercise. Okay. Now, we'll have some exercise. Please check the directions. Okay. Now, let's do the exercise. Why does he need another slice of pizza? Okay. Minsan, mamaliin din ulit ni admin. Sasabihin niya, because hungry he is. Okay. Oops. Okay. Very good. Taka. Okay. But let me, let us study this sentence. Okay. So, itatype ita niyo ulit dyan. Sabihin niyo, um, since our question is, why does he need another slice of pizza? We are talking about him or the subject he. So, it's better if our sentence would say, because he is hungry. Always remember that the subject goes first and then the linking verb or the verb. Just like this sentence. Yun. So, i-explain nyo talaga ng bonggang bongga lahat um, ang grammar rules. Okay? Yan. And then you will go over this. Ganun ulit. Kapag may mali, eh, correct agad. And again, make sure to use the chat box. Okay. Now, let's move on to free conversation. So, please check the directions. Okay. Let's start. Taka, why do you study English? Okay. Dito sa part ng free conversation, you have to encourage the student slash admin to use any of these words in the vocabulary. Yan, balik tayo sa new words and expressions kasi yun yung purpose niya. During the free conversation, dapat magamit niya man lang ang alinman sa mga expressions na ito. Okay? So, you have to encourage. Um, although may isang question lang dyan, why do you study English? You can ask follow-up questions. Okay, so that's it. Okay, very good, Taka. Let's review today's lesson. Please look at the yellow part. Listen carefully. I will read it to you now. So, dito... Ang, te ang technique dyan, maghanap na kayo or mag na kayo ng three new words and phrases na makukuha nyo from this lesson. Siyempre, dito kayo babalik ulit. Yan. Okay, for example, okay? So, itatype nyo din yan sa chat box. Okay, Taka, can you say anyway? Anyway. Anyway. Okay, kasi tatlong beses na siyang uulitin. Okay, very good. This time, let's say because. So, three times ulit, repeat after me. And then, you say, no way. No way. No way. Yan. So, repeat after me. Ulit, ulit, parang sirang plaka, pero ganun talaga. Tinetes talaga kayo kung susundin nyo siya. And then, three difficult to pronounce words. So, yung mga words na ikinorek nyo through, uh, throughout the demo, or during the demo, itatype nyo ulit dyan. For example, okay, let's practice saying this word again. Can you say, not to. Yes. Okay, so that's it. And then, ayun na, tapos na. So, you say, time is up. Ayan, tapos sasabihin na sa inyo ni, ni admin kung al bibigyan na nila kayo ng feedback kung um, anong ginawa niyong tama, kung saan kayo nagkamali, and of course, the result also. So, again, it's very important to follow, strictly follow the flow. Just read the red lines and be guided. And of course, use the chat box as often as you can. And again, correct the pronunciation and grammar of the student slash admin. And for sure, you will make it. Okay, so yun lang. Um, again, napaka-importante during the demo that you have to be prepared and relaxed and smile, all smiles dapat talaga all throughout, kahit nahihirapan kahit kinakabahan dapat smile lang ng smile kasi yun yung magdadala sa inyo and then again, use the chat box as often as you can and um, uh, correct the mistake or the pronunciation and the grammar of your student slash admin so wag mahihiya, okay and then there, so just be yourself and enjoy your um, demo. Okay? So, I hope you learned um, something or I hope this video helped a lot uh, in preparing you for your demo. So, go, go, go! Kaya mo yan. Okay? Bye-bye! Thank you!